Hey guys, welcome back to my new video and this will be the last one I will do on suffixes. So we're just going to do a quick recap of our previous one. So we looked at some common suffixes such as words that end in ship or s-h-i-p and this is a state of being so it could be friendship you're in the state of being a friend or relationship um, it can also mean a position such as a job like internship or it can mean a skill you can think of leadership or something like that next we had words that end in ism i-s-m and these are normally just a belief or some sort of descriptive word characteristic so you can think of buddhism taoism these are religious beliefs and then it could also be a political belief such as communism and then as a characteristic it could be a word such as alcoholism so someone who drinks too much has alcoholism and finally we looked at ist ist and this has a very similar meaning to ism so it can be a belief such as capitalist uh, communist it can be a characteristic such as elitist a person who thinks they're better than somebody just because they're rich or from a famous family or lastly it can be just a doing word such as cyclist someone who rides a bike or guitarist someone who plays a guitar so with these suffixes guys just remember that there are exceptions to the rule as always with english but in general they have these meanings so let's look at my ones for today words that end in ise or I-Z-E and this means to make something or to become or it can also mean to put something in a particular place. So I'll describe that in a second because that might be a little confusing. So the first word to stabilize means to make something less stable or for something to become less stable such as destabilizing a government or a house or anything like that. Specialize means to make something more specific or more special. You can think of education. When you're in secondary school, you have lots of different topics to learn. But if you go to university, you probably just pick one topic like biology or mathematics. So you have become more specialized. Finally, we have uh, hospitalize. So this means to put someone in hospital or to be put in hospital. So you've been put in a particular place. And this means you just got very seriously hurt and you need medical treatment. And the last one then is commercialize, to make something more sellable or for something to become more sellable. So you can make more money off of it. A good example of this is like Christmas companies always try to commercialize Christmas more. They want you to buy more presents so they can make more money. That's an example of commercialize. So our next one then is words that end in AL and this would be words that are related to something or it can be a doing thing it can be an act something you do so re refusal lethal comical or emotional so refusal is the act of refusing so you're doing something you're saying no no i don't want that you're refusing lethal is related to death so if something is lethal it means it will kill you or uh, you could say you had a lethal dose of something it means you took too much of something and now you've died. Comical is related to something funny, it's comical. Uh, emotional then is related to making you feel emotion. And this can be any emotion at all, but generally when we say emotional, normally it means like really sad or really happy, one or the other. And then our last one for today is phobia. And this is a fear or dislike of something. And there are quite a lot of words that end in phobia, but they're not well known. However, you can use this phobia, this word phobia as a word in itself. You can just say, I have a phobia of heights or cats or spiders, and that will make sense. But here are some words that you probably recognize, at least uh, the first two maybe. We have homophobia, which is like the dislike of gay people or homosexual people. Xenophobia is the dislike of foreigners or anything foreign. Then we have dentophobia, is a bit of a weird one, fear of dentists. I know a lot of people don't like dentists. And then the last one is claustrophobia, fear of small places. So I don't really get claustrophobic, but if I was in a situation like this, I definitely would have a bad case of claustrophobia. So guys, that is the end of our video today. Thank you very much for watching. Tune in tomorrow for another one, but until then, goodbye.